Hi everyone, um, I've got a Primark haul for you today. Um, I went to I only actually made it to Primark twice um, before Christmas. Um, so yeah, and I didn't buy an awful lot for myself, I've got to be honest, I did buy some nice prezzies for people. Um, I had some lovely hot water bottles in this year, um, like shaped like animals. Um, and I got my mum some slippers, I got my mum a cardigan. Um, so yeah, lots of Primark. Most people in my life got something from Primark this year. They always do, because I love Primark. Anyway, Primark haul. This is what I bought for me. First thing I got was some boots. Now, um, I had a pair of Primark boots I showed you a year and a half ago, I think I included them in a haul, and I wore them an awful lot, and the zip snapped completely, the zip ripped off the boot, boot. There was no use, I couldn't repair them, or it wouldn't be worth repairing them for the price I paid for them. So I was on the lookout for another pair of slightly chunky boots, because just obviously this time of year, lots of ice and snow, and I'm not very keen on slipping. And I saw these on a reduced shelf before Christmas, there was a reduced shelf. And I absolutely love these. They are, you've got little pearls and little studs, and they've got a zip detail up the front, but they actually fasten with a side zip that you can see there. And they have a really clumpy, chunky sole. They're kind of like a sort of a souped up biker boot. Um, and they were part of the As Seen in Glamour collaboration and they were I don't know how you can see that you can't see that at all they were 16 pounds yeah but they weren't um a reduced rack before Christmas and I got them for six so I got 10 pounds off these before Christmas they are a tiny touch big um Maybe I could have gone down to the seven. Um, they didn't have a seven, or because I would have tried them. But um, to be honest, they were too good a bargain to turn down, especially this time of year, because I can always wear them with thick tights or thick socks, putting in sole in or something, just to make them a little bit snugger. But um, yeah, six pound boots can't be robbed for six pound. So what else did I get? More stripes, more Brittany-esque stripes, and more long sleeve t-shirts. Um, I've gone returned back to the stretch crew again. And this one is nice navy blue and white. Well, is it navy blue? I wouldn't say it was navy. It looks like a sort of navy mall tone. Um, and I actually think these have gone up. This was four pounds. I'm sure they were only 350 a little while ago. But um mm, gone up, sneaky. But yeah, I love these. They're really long, they're really stretchy. They're really comfortable to wear. They wash okay as well. I've had a minor split on one where I took a tag off and must have caught it. But um, at the nightline, but um, other than that, they're absolutely fine. Um, yeah, I wear these a lot under jumpers, cardies for layering and things. So they're really good. So I got that one. And I also got one of the short sleeved ones as well. Um, and this is, now is this black or navy? It's navy. I've got loads of short sleeve navy stripy tops, but... Yeah, this is the short and this is the stretch crew buds, the short sleeve version of the stretch crew. And that was £3 for that one. Now, I also got this. And I'm not going to lie, it's a little bit tight, but this is Primark we're talking about. Um, the sizing is erratic, to put it politely, and I'm a little bit curvy because of Christmas and the festivities that are already ongoing. So... Um, I got this, and they're actually starting to get the summer stuff in before Christmas. Um, they had bikinis, flip-flops, and loads of floral blouses. And I couldn't resist this. I've got the black long long one. It's long line tunic, with but it's sleeveless. Now, this is the same print, but this is in a different colour. And it's just basically like a sort of chiffon-y shirt, um, which obviously you could wear it open if you can't fasten it across the boobs properly. Um, and it's got, I think they're cranes, it's just the same as the one, it's the same pattern as the last one I've got and it's got cranes on. And that was £7 and I thought that was really nice. But it's definitely more of a summer purchase, I wouldn't really be wearing that at the minute, it's too thin. Um, yeah, what else, what else, what else, what else, what else have we got? Bubble hat. Um, I've got a few bubble hats this year and I've bought a couple of presents as well. There's some really nice ones out at the moment. Um, and this one, I loved the huge multicoloured pom-pom. Oh my god, it's still got the tag on. I 
I've still got the tag on, so there's a tag, there's another tag sticking in my head. But yay, that's what it looks like. And this was just hat here, three pounds, which was really nice. And I love the bottle. Okay, what do you want next? Jewelry or beauty? We'll go with jewelry. We'll go with jewelry. And I got this, and because I just thought this was really cute. And this was from the Disney range. Oh God, fluffy hair. This was from the Disney range, and this was just a little necklace, and it is. I don't know how well you can see that, but it's Mickey Mouse ears, and it is. The one came in birthstones, so unfortunately, I doubt it was real emerald for three pounds. But it was really cute, and it's a. A stone set Mickey Mouse pendant so that was really sweet and again it was only three pounds I think obviously these are from my part of the Christmas gift and things but yeah got that and I also got more disc pendants I'm slightly obsessed with disc pendants that's been one of my things in 2017 and I got another one this again it's got a crystal bit and it's got all different kinds of solid discs and little bars hanging off it and it's gold tone, silver tone, and crystal set. And that was £2.50. Um, I've got that. Anything else? Anything else? Anything else? Um, okay, something not in this bag that should be in, but I'll do an accompanying blog post, which you can see below, um, and I'll talk a little bit more about them in that. Um, now, this was, again, it was from the Gift and Things, and it was from the Disney Things again. And, um, oh... This stuff has gone mad in Primark, hasn't it, this year? The Beauty and the Beast things. I'm still looking for the teapot, the proper teapot, not the mini box. I've got the mini box. I want the Mrs. Potter's teapot, and I've never seen it, and I've never seen the Cogsworth, along, um, Cogsworth clock or anything. Um, but they did have this, which I thought was adorable. And it is the chip trinket dish. How cute is he? Isn't he just the cutest? Yeah, chip. It's really cute. Uh, this was five pounds. It's ceramic again, but you've got the little teacup and then you've got a little saucer for you to put your jewelry on. It's got little feet and everything on it. I've got a sort of Disney sort of array thing going on with my Mrs. Potts mini box and I've got my chip mug, um, which I'm not using as a mug. I'm using mine as a trinket dish already. So this one will just go really nicely with that. And that was five pounds. And again, it was one per customer. That's all we were allowed when I got mine. <sighs> right. Finally, beauty. Now, the first time I went, I was looking for. Ooh, thank you. Why did that? Why did that focus go weird? I don't know why that happened there. Um, I've got an auto focus at the moment, and it took a while to come back. Please don't let this camera break. I can't afford another one. Um, yeah. So I went looking for cleansing wipes, and I always buy Primax cleansing wipes. And the uh, Newcastle store when I went in had none of the tea tree ones which stressed me out immensely because I was like, I totally rely on these things, they are my life, I use them for so many different things. Um, and I didn't have any, so I ended up getting some of their micellar ones in the white packaging. Um, I think I've got a photo of them, so you'll be able to see them in the blog post. Um, but they're okay, they're okay, they're, they're actually probably nicer on the skin than the tea tree ones are, but um, that's not really why I use them most of the time. But anyway, so I got some of them, again it was two packs for a pound. Um, but I ended up getting, uh, when I went to the, I went to the Metro Centre store and they had some, so these are the P PS Oil ban Balancing Facial Cleansing Wipes for oily and blemish prone skin with tea tree. I normally use them for cleaning up stuff like this, swatches. Swatches or if you've been mixing makeup on your hand, foundation colours or something together which I do a lot at this time of year. All gone and that was allegedly long wear eyeliner. It wasn't that long way maybe and yeah and you think your hands are clean and they've probably got bits of makeup and all sorts of hack on them so that's mainly what I use them for but I managed to find some um now I also saw these which in, in Metro Centre which didn't have these in Newcastle now if you've followed my blog um you'll know that I'm a slightly obsessed with those foot peeling products you know what I mean like the socks that are sold in like the salicylic or glycolic acids and literally they peel the dry skin off your feet I have thyroid problems so my feet get incredibly gross and dry and horrible um, and these are probably one of the only things that actually helps in the long term um, and this is Primark's own version own version is it their own version or is it just a brand they're selling they seem to have a lot of this branding called Holler and Glow 
and these are perfect peddy sock masks. Transforming intensive foot peel magically removes and smooths calluses and rough skin. So it's the same thing, you stick it on for up to 90 minutes, wash it off and then your feet will start to peel. It's going to be after Christmas when I do this now because I just don't have time. Um, so I will let you know, usually in my blog I'm I'm going to continue in 2018, I'm going to do a monthly empty section so you can find out a little bit more about some of the products that I finish using and what I think about them, even ones I don't do a full review of. Um, so they contain Camellia sinus leaf, synonesis leaf, rosemary, glycolic, lactic and salicylic acids and soybean. So yeah, I'm definitely going to give these a go and I will feed back as to how I get on with them. The final thing I got, it was part of, ooh, they fall off the chair. It was part of their Christmassy section. And I've got to be honest, I was quite disappointed in this when I actually bought it and swatched it. They had no testers. Um, anyway, it was only £3. But um, it is the in PS Angel Powder. So there you can see Angel Powder. And I'll take it out of the thing. The packaging's beautiful. Glitter box. Anything with glitter on is great. Inside, though, it was a bit boring. It was just the plain plastic. Now, I'm assuming it is some sort of highlighter or finishing powder or added glow, but to be honest, it feels amazing, but it just looks like, it's like matte white powdery. I was hoping for sparkle, and there ain't a lot of sparkle in it, so I guess you could use it as a finishing powder, maybe, but there isn't a lot of sparkle in it. I don't know what I was expecting, but to be honest, it didn't really do anything. <laughs> um, it hasn't really floated my boat, but you know, it's just a bit matte pale pink powder that's what it comes out as never mind you win some you lose some but um always use a tester if there is one and then you won't be disappointed but as i say i'll find a use for it even if it's just as like a finishing powder or over something or to add a little bit of extra glow in the winter because it is the pale but we'll see so that was my primer call um will i be continuing primer calls in 2018 i hope so um i'm generally thinking of cutting down what I spend um, in, in 2018. I'm going to try and be a little bit more sensible with my money um, and actually start wearing some of the clothes that I own, um, lose a bit of weight and get into some of the clothes that I own, which will probably be more economical in the long run. Um, so that's the aim, but um, we'll see. Yeah, a Primark trip, you can never res resist a Primark trip, can you? Um, even though, though I do tend to buy a lot of things I probably don't need. <sighs> anyway. So I hope you found this useful. Um, I'm not going to be. I'm definitely not going to be buried in Primark for the next couple of weeks anyway. Uh, January sales and Primark and busy shopping centres again doesn't board well for myself. Like anything, self esteem, self consciousness, um, my sanity. Um, so I will probably be avoiding Primark at least till January, end of January, beginning of February, before I even venture near a Primark store. Um, but anyway, I hope you found this useful. If you've bought anything interesting from Primark recently, let me know. Um, have you seen the summer stuff in your store yet? Yes. Is, is, is it summer already? Are we thinking summer already? I, know, I mean, I know they usually stick the Easter eggs in on Boxing Day, but um, yeah, a bit early. So let me know your thoughts on this haul. Let me know if you've picked anything nice up recently. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to check out the accompanying blog post, which I will link below, where I'll talk about the micella wipes as well. Thanks for watching, and I will see you really soon with another video, which might be uh, what I got for Christmas haul. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye.